George, George of the jungle, strong as he can be. I pay my credit card balance off every single month. Why does my credit report show that I owe so much money? That's a common question that I get every time I pull somebody's credit report who's particularly conscientious about their credit card management. This is what we're going to be discussing today in the creditjungle.com. My name is George Anderson and thanks for joining us. And I just wanted to just explain a few things to clarify a little bit about how the CARD Act that was passed in 2009 and some of the ramifications that that can have on you if you are diligently trying to manage your credit and in particular your balance to limit ratios. We've talked about that a lot. Ideal balance to limit ratio. If you have established credit, lots of trade lines, never had any glitches, you, know, you can go up to about 30%. You're still going to have a great credit score. But for somebody who's trying to improve their credit score, if they're kind of in the middle range, in those 600 levels, maybe a little bit lower, okay, you really want to be using less than 10% of your available balance. So let's, let's just describe how this looks a little bit. So I've got a graph up here and we've got money here on the y-axis and we've got time on the x-axis so during the course of a credit card use if somebody had paid off their credit card uh, and they're, they're, let's just say somebody's starting from scratch okay they get a brand new credit card it's important that you need to know when is your statement closing date okay I'm gonna repeat that again you need to find out when your statement closing date is and why is that important we're going to show you that. During the course of time, the balance on that credit card, if you're using it, even if you're using just a little bit, okay, you're going to get to a point where, maybe right here, you've uh, used now $750. Most credit cards run on a 30-day cycle. And at the end of that cycle, which may or may not be the end of the month, okay, most credit cards are going to go 30 days probably from the day that you open the account, okay, and then it's going to run on 30 days from that. Capital One does that. Most of the national bank credit card companies will just do that based on your opening date. So during the course of the statement here, you're going to run up a balance and then your statement is going to close on that first 30 days there. When is your payment due? And this pen does not work as good. Let's go to this one. Hope this one's better. So your statement closes, you get a statement and says your statement uh, is now closed and your balance is $750. How long do you have to make that payment and pay it in full with no interest and no penalties? Okay, the answer is 21 days. So you've got here now 21 days and then you make your payment you send in $750, okay? Most people who do this in their mind say, well, I shouldn't have any balance showing on my credit report because, yes, I charge $750, I have a $1,000 limit, I used 75% of my available credit, but I paid it in full. In fact, George, I have it set up on automatic draft so that it debits my bank account on the day that the payment is due Okay, because this, this is the due date here. Okay, when is it 30 days late? Okay, you've got to go another plus 30, or technically 51 days would be after your statement closing date is when you're going to be late. This is just the first day that it's due. Okay, so this whole period in here is no interest, no penalties, and if you make a partial payment, okay, if you just sent in $50, which might be your minimum payment, then that remaining $700 balance now is going to accrue interest from here, okay, the first 21 days up until you actually do make your payment and start paying it off in full. So the interest rate on your credit card really isn't that important if you're paying the balance in full and you're paying it on the due date or even within your brace grace period here. Now you may have a late fee if you don't pay it by the 21st. Every credit card is different. Look a little bit on this, but this 21-day period here, this is part of the CARD Act from 2009. So here's the question. Why does your credit report show that you owe $750 when in fact you're paying the full balance on the day that it's due? Here you go. Here's the reporting date. Is about plus 
three to five days. Somewhere in here is where the credit bureaus send what's called an e-Oscar report. They will send that to the credit bureaus and they will just say, hey, at the time that the statement closed, this is the balance, okay? They're going to report that statement closing date. So you're sitting there going, well, there's two things you can do on this. And I actually had people tell me, he says, but George, I get rewards points and I get miles and I get all this other stuff if I'm using this. I like to use my card. I like, if I'm going to spend the money anyway, I might as well spend it on my credit card, pay it off, and get the benefit of doing that. So are you telling me that I can't do that because it's going to mess up my balance to limit ratio? No. If you know when your statement closing date is, what would you do? Okay. Well, what you can do here is on day 28, maybe day 29, day 25, whatever you want to do, if you paid off whatever that balance is right at that point, maybe you only owed $700, two days before the statement closes, pay it off, okay? Or pay most of it off. Because if you've paid the balance down here, if you've made a payment here, and that balance is only $50 here, okay, this now is gonna be your new reported balance on your credit card statement. Now you use 750, got your points if that's important to you, but you made a $700 payment, $50 gets used, gets reported to the credit bureaus here, so now you're only using 5% of your available credit instead of 75%. So just it's important to, again, know what the reporting cycle is. Know when your statement closing date is, and then if you just use your credit card frugally, if you only ever used 50 bucks, okay, then great, you're, not gonna, you're, you're never gonna have a balance reported more than what your statement closing date was. But don't be surprised when that credit report shows a balance that's much higher than what you think it is, even though you are paying the balance in full. So hopefully that explains a little bit. And uh, remember, you can always get push button, get mortgage professional. I would love to talk with you about your situation. This is George Anderson, and thank you for coming into thecreditjungle.com today. Have a great day.